Good day. Welcome to Sabbath School. I am happy you made it. Please ensure that you have your Bibles with you. Before we begin our lesson, let us pray. Heavenly Father, as I come before your throne in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray that you will bless those who are watching or listening to this video, and that this video will be a blessing to them and inspire them to want to know you more. I pray, Father, that they will welcome you into their lives and allow you to mold and make them into who you want them to be. I pray you will bless them and help them to be a blessing to those around them. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. The subject for today's lesson is Ibzan and Elon. Our scripture reading is taken from Judges 12 verses 7 to 12. Let us listen to our scripture reading, which is taken from Judges 12, verses 7 to 12. Our scripture reading is taken from Judges 12, verses 7 to 12. And Jephthah judged Israel six years, then died Jephthah the Gileadite, and was buried in one of the cities of Gilead. And after him, Ibzan of Bethlehem judged Israel. And he had thirty sons and thirty daughters whom he sent abroad, and took in thirty daughters from abroad for his sons, and he judged Israel seven years. Then died Ibzan, and was buried at Bethlehem. And after him Elon, a Zebulonite, judged Israel, and he judged Israel ten years. And Elon the Zebulonite died, and was buried in Ahijalon, in the country of Zebulon. The following questions will be based on the scripture reading. Question 1. After the death of Jephthah, who judged the Israelites according to Judges 12 verses 7 to 8? Reading Judges 12 verses 7 to 8. And Jephthah judged Israel six years, then died Jephthah the Gileadite, and was buried in one of the cities of Gilead. And after him, Ibzan of Bethlehem judged Israel. Therefore, after the death of Jephthah, Ibzan became the judge of the Israelites. Question 2. How many children did Ibzan have, according to Judges 12, verse 9? Reading Judges 12, verse 9. And he had thirty sons and thirty daughters, whom he sent abroad, and took in thirty daughters from abroad for his sons, and he judged Israel seven years. Therefore, Ibzan had 60 children. He had 30 sons and 30 daughters. So the total would be 60 children. Question 3. How many years did Ibzan judge the Israelites? According to Judges 12, verse 9, the last part. Reading Judges 12, verse 9, the last part. And he judged Israel seven years. Therefore, Ibzan judged Israel for seven years. Question 4. After Ibzan death, who judged the Israelites according to Judges 12 verse 11? Reading Judges 12 verse 11. After him, Elon, a Zebulonite, judged Israel, and he judged Israel for ten years. Therefore, after the death of Ibzan, Elon became the next judge of Israel. Question 5. Elon was from which tribe 
according to Judges 12 verse 11. Reading Judges 12 verse 11. And after him Elon, a Zebulonite, judged Israel, and he judged Israel ten years. Therefore, Elon was from the tribe of Zebulon. He was a Zebulonite. Question 6. How many years did Elon judge the Israelites according to Judges 12 verse 11? Last part. Reading Judges 12 verse 11, the last part. And he judged Israel ten years. Therefore, Elon judged the Israelites for ten years. Thank you for watching. Please remember to pray, keep God's commandments, and never forget that God loves you and he wants the best for you.